Hello all, welcome to Technostack. In today's video, in the series of artificial intelligence, we will be looking into the topic of problem reduction. Now, problem reduction is very famous uh, type of problem solving technique. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, we'll just take it by a small example to make you understand what is problem. So like problem reduction technique. So like, for example, if you have a complete problem, If you have a complete problem, let's say I have a complete problem A. So now what I'll do is I divide this problem in sub problems, small chunks of sub problems. Sub problem two, sub problem three, so and so forth, till sub problem n. So it's similar to like, uh, see, if you are a student and if you have like 10 assignments, okay, 10 different subjects, 10 different assignments, okay. So now what you will do, uh, you will take up, like, if you have 10 friends, you will take up each assignment. Per, per assignment, one student, one student will do, and the others then will copy the assignments, right? So one will complete the assignment, another will complete another assignment, the third person will complete. So you will divide, you will divide and work. Similarly, if I want to make a video, right? If I want to make a video of the places that I have traveled, okay, so I want to make a video where the places I have traveled. So what first I'll do, I'll extract all the images, that will be my sub problem one. I'll take my drive and I'll extract all the images, right? So that is done. Now I have all the images and then I'll take the music, whichever music I want, I'll take it. So that is sub problem number two. Then I'll club this two and that is my sub problem number three, clubbing. First is image, then we took music and then we clubbed both. So that is problem uh, three. Okay, then I'll edit it. That is my sub problem number four. Okay, editing is done. Uh, so now I have a complete video with me. So then I have a complete video. I just have to review it. Review the video, right? So in five sub problems, I completed one major problem that is to make a video. So what like step by step I went. Okay, so that is, uh, like problem reduction, like I had a big problem and then uh, I divided the, them into chunks. So best example for you, I think to understand is this only that before one, like one night is left and you have 10 assignments. So all the friends are worrying that what we'll do, you have 10 friends, you have 10 assignments. So you will divide it. You will divide it into sub problems. Like, okay, you take uh, one subject, the other one will take another subject, the third one will take third subject, then you all will solve the assignment and then you'll club in together and again, uh, like copy each other's assignment or so and so forth. Okay, so that is what you do. So that is problem reduction. So you're using it in your daily life. So that is what computer does it uh, as well. So it is problem reduction technique of solving in problem. Okay, so it's it works on the principles of top down approach. It works like top-down approach, isn't it? First, it will take first problem, then you divide. And then again, if sub problem one needs division, you will again divide it into another small chunks. Right. So that is how you do reduction on the problems. Now for this reduction, if the problem is complex problem, you divide, uh, like you divide the problems into sub parts. Now we have uh, relationships among this. relationship among sub problems this is very interesting topic just give me a second so that i'll clear the window and then i'll make you understand please take a note please pause the video and take the notes if you have not uh, so i'll just erase it and then i'll come back again with this sub problem relationship 
okay that that's very nice uh, it's very important also so just pay attention so now whenever you are like if you have 10 assignments then you know that if you have 20 people and two people are doing the same assignment then you know that the one with the good assignment you will be picking up that and sometimes it's such that you need all of them okay i'll just give you an example so first we'll just discuss A problem relationship. Okay. <coughs> we have two of them. That is not working well today. That. First one is N and relationship and one is or relationship okay so what we want is like and for example of and relationship we'll be using an example of writing in a book so if i want to write in a write in my book writing a book let's say right i have to write in my book okay i have to open the assignment i have to write it so what i'll take uh, i'll take the pen i'll take the book And then I'll write using pen. I'll write on the book, right? So now the interesting thing is over here to reach for uh, like I have to pick up the pen, I have to pick up the book, and then I have to write. Any of the step among these three can't be neglected. Like I can't just take the book and start writing without a pen. I can't just take the pen and write on air without my book. Okay, if I want to write in a book and then if I take the pen also and take the book also, but if I don't write, then I don't get anything written in my book, right? So here we need all the sub problems to be solved in synchronization in a proper step steps to get my problem solved. So this is called an and relationship over here where we need all the steps to be followed precisely we cannot neglect any step okay uh, while as in or over here or relationship what i can do is i can just give you an example of unlocking a phone unlocking a phone now there are a number of ways to unlock my phone like i can just use a password i can just use a pin i can just use fingerprints i can just use facial recognition etc okay there are many ways out of this also there's still many ways to unlock a phone okay so if i want like if i have a phone and if i have two three of this and if i want to unlock it I can use any of these okay but then if i use just a password then also it will unlock if i just use my fingerprint from behind still it will unlock if i just use my facial recognition then also it will unlock so what i'm trying to tell over here is that in order to solve the problem it it does is it isn't necessary that i'll go through all the sub problems even with one approach of the sub problem did, uh, resolution i can finally reduce to get my solution that is i can unlock my phone okay so that is our relationship like from all the given sub problems you just need to find one solution and that will provide the main solution okay so that is our relation so now here uh, to represent and use symbols like this like if it's connecting to then we'll use this symbol over here like if it's three branches are connecting we have three solutions then all three will be connected over here you understand we'll see the example don't worry i'm just giving an example right now so don't worry and if it's or then we don't don't do this arc over here that's just it okay we'll just put it like this okay so 
let's just say i'll just write it over here in this format okay writing a book okay that's no problem now the sub the subdivision is I've subdivided the problems of writing. Oh God, pen is not working properly. Okay, so pen, then book, and then write. Okay, then two. We'll use like this. So this is and relationship between the problems, and for this unlocking of form. We we'll just use like this, like password, fingerprint, facial recognition, like this. We'll don't, we'll not do the app. So this is or relationship. Okay. So this is all about problem reduction. You have a big chunk of problem. You divide it into smaller chunks of problem, and then you solve those sub problems to get the main answer of the main problem. So that is what is problem reduction. It is very easy to understand. It is very simple topic. so this is all about this lecture so stay tuned for more such content to our channel also do like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get the latest video updates to our channel thank you